What is going on YouTube Averse? John Stanick from Johnny Radio here bringing you another hot track, the first hot track of 2021 and man it's a hot one. We got the Kings of Leon are back baby with two new songs actually released today, The Bandit and 100,000 People. And the one I'm gonna be talking to you about is the second one, because The Bandit, while it's uh, a great, kind of a standard Kings of Leon sort of song, 100,000 People harkens back to their best work, like uh, from the Only By The Night album, my personal favorite from 2008, this has that kind of vibe, mainly due in part to the the pulsing bass line that uh, Jared plays on this thing that really leads the track. And it has this kind of open space for Caleb to, uh, you know, put his beautiful melodies over top of. But it's so cool. It's like, uh, I think it's a bass along with a synth that's just doing this kind of dun, dun, dun. Uh, kind of rhythm that Nathan plays along to perfectly on the drums. And uh, like I said, it just allows for this open space, kind of like songs, uh, some of their best tracks like Arizona and Cold Desert do. Uh, it provides Caleb with this open canvas to kind of paint his lyrics and melodies over. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure all the lyrics that he's singing. Um, a lot of times I can't understand what Caleb's saying anyway, but um, it doesn't really matter. You can tell he's using, you know, some metaphors and um, just some abstract imagery to describe this relationship. Um, and then when it gets to the chorus, he sings, um, nothing makes me feel the way you do, you do, and he keeps saying you do over and over again in different note progressions, and it's so catchy and it's so simplistic. Um, that's what you love the most about Kings of Leon. They, they sometimes take something so simple, but make it so lovely, and, um, this is definitely one of those times. It really harkens back to those days uh, in the 2000s, late 2000s, where they were kind of at the top of their game. Uh, you know, really any Kings of Leon album, aside from maybe 2016's Walls was a little bit of a letdown, but um, any album released by them uh, pretty much is going to be great. So the news is, their new album is going to hit on March the 5th. It's going to be called When You See Yourself. So they're going with the normal uh, five-syllable title. Uh, I believe that's also going to be a track title on the record. But uh, if this is any indication of how good it's going to be... Um, like I said, The Bandit is a strong track, 100,000 people. Man, if I had to give this thing a grade right now, I'd give it, uh, I'd even though I've only listened to it a handful of times, I'd go strong, a 9 out of 10. It is fantastic. It is Kings of Leon doing what they do best. Like I said, um, Jared uh, on the bass is kind of like the MVP of this song. Uh, Matthew is not uh, really heard that much. He's more in the background, but it, obviously whatever he's doing just kind of helps establish what the song does. And uh, I think it's it's beautiful the way all of it just kind of flows perfectly together. But Jared uh, just doing that pulsing rhythm and then doing some more complicated bass lines in the chorus, um, it really establishes the fact that he kind of led this song. And I wouldn't be surprised if the bass was the genesis of the song um, that everyone else came and rallied and wrote the song around. Um, so Kings of Leon, thank you guys so much for coming back. It's been, gosh, almost five years since your last album. So I am really psyched and I'm sure all of you guys out there are as well. If you haven't listened to 100,000 people yet, what are you waiting for? Do it. Listen to The Bandit and mark your calendars for March the 5th because, uh, man, already good news in 2021. So thank you guys so much for watching. We've got album reviews, top fives every Friday, top 100s as voted by you, and so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always, 
Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.